Yo, yo. Yes, sir. What's up, guys? Yes. This DJ will kick the floor in three, three, two, two, one, ah. one, one, one. Hello and welcome to Mzansi Reality. It's Sunday, the day today. And it is on the 16th of April. We are still on this thing of um, Tabo Baxter. And we're not going to explain much. I don't think we should be. All I can say is that um, we are going to lo- obviously look at other things. There is a lot that is happening in South Africa. And indeed, uh, Tabo Baxter might be that story that, yes, is important, but also there are big things that are happening that we will update you on. Most probably on the membership side, we are going to take you through the things that are of a country and they are important to that sense. Emily, uh, greet our people. For those who do not know me, I go by the name of Mr. Anonymous and on Sunday, I'm always chilled unless something touches me otherwise. Hi guys, welcome back to the Mzansi Reality YouTube channel. Well, today I decided to put the microphone a little bit closer. <laughs> <laughs> so I, it's, it's, it's a new type because it seems like sound wise. You know, so we're just trying it out. Let us know in the comment section below if it's really working, if it's effective, and if you can hear me clearly or not. Okay, so yes, we are continuing with the best of story and giving you another side perhaps that uh, 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 might not be there. But I know a lot of people are updated on the story. A lot of people are covering it. So we are not any different. It's an interesting story. It's huge. Uh, but like Mr. Anonymous said, we will continue updating you on other things that are happening in South Africa currently as we are being distracted by the Tabo Beste situation. Okay. Mm. So Dr. Nandipa has not been formally charged, but according to the police, she will face charges of aiding and abetting an escape from prison, mm-hmm. uh, unaliving people, violation of bodies and fraud. The citizen revealed that Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana initially told Tanzanian authorities that she was being held against her will by convicted Tabo Beste. And according to a Tanzanian source, Makudumana and Besta gave statements to Tanzanian authorities after their arrest. She was being held against her will by him. That was her response in her initial arrest questions. That's what she said. So the source, however, said it is unclear if Makudumana changed her statement after that. There was even a recording this morning that circulated social media. So this morning, I mean Friday morning, uh, there was a recording that circulated social uh, social media. And uh, I don't know, Mr. Anonymous, if we can hear that recording. Definitely. I'm driving to Joburg tonight. When I get there, if I call you and you don't pick up this phone, who's a sona? I understand why you're saying this, Tom. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't care if you. I don't care if you understand or don't understand. You are doing your own things, and I told you, you don't do things in this house. Do you understand that? You don't miss Mameda Nandipo. The fact that you were upset and you blocked my number, that was the I'm in your life a number. If you ever block my number, you will find you and your clothes on the streets. You will never block me. I run this house. I suffer for this house. You will not block me. Do you hear me? I block me this time. I will drive to Johannesburg and I'll take your ass and I'll show you what I'm capable of. And if I ever call this phone and you don't pick up, I don't want you to make me frustrated i don't want you to make me angry a long time you go and do your own thing do you think i am stupid do you not think that i have a tracker on you do you not think i have people to follow in your ass huh don't you think what i'm looking after your safety you think i don't know what you're doing I don't understand what you're so let me advise you for the last time if i come to job and you don't have your in affairs in order you will regret it with your life do you hear me did you hear me did hear you me. hear me i hear you i will kill you and him do you hear me i will f- murder both of you who's him don't 
in prison. Don't don't upset me. Yesterday you created a story. The other weekend, one two elements. Tell you something. Unfortunately, I'm politically connected. It means that whoever is close to me, they will be tracked by my people. You are in twenty seven on surveillance. If you didn't know, now you know. Every move you make when you drive to Natai's house when you drive to Matt's house how long you stay there I know everything so do not piss me off yeah and that's about it we've tried to remove what might sound uncomfortable in your words you will have to fill that one up on your own but yeah can say is that there were a lot of f bombs f bombs mm. that were thrown and uh, social media on the other hand believes that that recording was fake and staged because the weird thing about it is that it was released immediately after the publication reported that uh, Nandi Pamakutumana had said that she was threatened mm. and that she was scared mm -hmm. in her statement and that she was coerced into doing everything that she has participated in doing. So a lot of people were not buying it because the timing of it all. And you could hear on the recording that he's throwing threats. But those threats are aligning more with the theories that are already out in the mm. media. Well, look, we, we, we don't take kindly of uh, the situation of women, as we all know. Mm. But the truth of the matter is that for me, this sounds more like staged. I don't care what you say. I don't care who says what. If this was there for long, I mean, this thing should have been released a long time ago. Why now? Why release it now? Why? What should we do it with, with with it now? At this point, it's pointless. Whether you 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 are you were you were being coerced, uh, it, it is pointless because you. I mean, you knew you were going out of the country, right? Yes. There were uh, what we call passport taken and Dr. Pashi. And uh, you, you couldn't release it at that time. Why now? And the fact that you had a phone all the time when you were arrested, when you were apprehended, it sort of even gives it more or actually less credibility. Mm, it does. Mm. It does because there's a picture that when she was getting out of... of the plane mm. in her pocket there was a phone so she could have literally allegedly but the emphasis of they were sitting separately and all those things those are the things that are not making me comfortable mm. why do you need to say that mm. i mean these people have been together for a long or probably planned this even if you put them on a separate position or together it doesn't matter mm. and someone is also alleging that in the background you can hear wind I don't know. That's somebody who said it on the social media streets, and I'm like, mm, okay. But also, you could hear Tabo's voice. You know, is really different in that recording. It is knowing it, or having seen the interview he did with the psychologist mm, many years ago. Yeah, um, he is very well spoken in English. Yes, and then for him to say, "I suffered for this house." when it sounded like he was not even inside that house. Yes. It's quite peculiar to me. Mm, mm, you know, mm. it's, it's strange because for someone who is very articulate, I mean, the man is articulate, he could scam people because he was that articulate. People didn't think he's a scammer. Even someone was on that video, there's a video on comments, it was saying that is well spoken for someone who left school at what, grade seven or so? Grade five. Grade five. Mm. So, I mean, truth of the matter is that, yes, uh, the man is well spoken. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't make such a mistake of saying, I suffered for this house while he was not inside the house. Mm. Because it didn't sound like he's inside the house. In fact, it sounded like he was outside of the house. Mm. Mm. So we, we will see. But this recording needs to be tested, needs to be thoroughly no, it, investigated. Uh, wh why should it be tested? Why do we, do we even need to entertain it? Because at this point in time, nothing has been submitted. We are being marinated into talking about it. In fact, the fact that we're talking about it, mm -hmm. that's what they want, so that we, we push the narrative of victimism. Oh, 
know they push the narrative that Dr. Nandipa might be a victim. If there's anything Bester. as victimism, victim or whatever, but I don't believe in that. Okay, so when the story first broke on Twitter about this victimhood situation, mm. uh Dick in the early 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 hours of the morning had mm-hmm. actually um talked about how he tweeted it. He tweeted his story because a couple of weeks ago, Mushen Diki was defending Dr. Nandipa with everything that yes. he had. Now, Mushen Diki is familiar on our screens, on social media. He's done a lot of shows on TV. And he was defending Nandipa with everything, saying that uh, they are coming after her, they're trying to to attack a black woman and all of that, only to find out that he was actually manipulated by Dr. Nandipa into fighting for her on social media. Mm. She had convinced him that she was being attacked by Ground Up. Ground Up is the publication that first broke the story because she is a black as okay. much as we also would like to say give ground up uh, the credit of breaking up the story there are other independent media that are claiming they are actually the first to look into the story mm. uh, i think such as Mzilugaz. also sunday times. and sunday time so there, there is that fight of who broke the story but uh, for now we will stick with what we we, we, we laid our eyes on Yes, now Moshe has since come back to apologize to his followers and actually showed messages of how he was played by Dr. Nandi into defending her online. Okay, so I'm going to quickly read through some of the things that were happening on the social media. Uh, instance, yeah, we posted a receipt of her, uh, of him fighting because one person was asking how can she afford a Range Rover, a Porsche and a Ferrari as an aesthetics doctor. And he said, no, she received that gift from her husband. Guys, let's not perpetuate things that are not true. She was wearing blindfolds to her way there. And those that know, know it's a gift from her husband. <laughs> then a couple of weeks later, this was at the beginning of the month, I think. A couple of weeks later, she Mushen Diki came back. What yo hi sana? Please bring back my okay. I'm not gonna read that word because I'm not sure. <laughs> so I can apologize and say I thought I regretted. I have bigger regrets, Kebuti. Yo Mushe defending champion. That is Mike Sana. Dim Iluza Betuna. And you could see with the WhatsApp messages that they were communicating throughout that time. Uh, you can see with Dr. Nandipa there. Uh, Umushe asking Dr. Nandipa there. Mdase, are you okay with all that's going on? I love you always. And Mdase, they want to bury me alive. This is Dr. Nandipa. I always, I, I love you. Always in Darcy. Tito was on the Cooper. And then there was obviously a voice recording that we don't have. And then Wabu Yafuti U Dr. Nandi Patim Tase. We need to find ground. We need to fight ground up. The story is malicious and false. I want to know who is behind this. Are we able to get the Twitter bullies to stop this from going further? We need to attack ground up for that direct and our assist report or reporting mm-hmm. and she goes on to umusha shared all of the stuff or some of the comments that people were saying on twitter at the time and then she went on to say they are a blog that wrote that article this is obviously people were sharing ground ups article at the time and then mushe i appreciate you for what you're doing fighting for me I see God in you. So she knew all of this time. (laughs) Sorry about laughing, but we have to. (laughs) She knew all of this time that these people are onto something. Yeah. And she made Moshe fight for her. Mm Mm-hmm. And and what we have been talking about, uh, what I saw there, the the the, the, the bullies Twitter of or bullies. Twitter bullies. We've been talking about that. We talk about that. That there are people who use these people who are bought. You find people defending 
or being in a position of defending something that does not make sense. You, you ask yourself, but this person, I mean, is he thinking? Are they properly thinking? Mm. So there are people that are well known. Some of them are celebrities that you know that would go on or I, on the first one. I believe. Uh, or I believe this, or uh, he's telling the truth, it's sounding like he's telling the truth. Those people, most of them are bought because they have a huge following and then everyone then hops on and start talking about that thing and then start trending. And that's how Twitter normally would uh, work with the bullies, as they would say. And that's what is explained to us. It's alleged. I'm not going to say that's how Twitter works because it's a company that still needs to be uh, uh, looked at and be respected. So I would say Nandipa is literally proving that when you, f when you hear noise on Twitter, you must sit down and dissect and say, does this make sense? Yes. Don't because Find we understand other people are paid. You are not paid to actually defend someone mm -hmm. on Twitter. You no. are not paid, no. and you hop on and you think, yeah, it's power. Yes. Hey, you guys are. You find you yourself are fighting. Those people that are getting paid. Exactly. You are not. <laughs> you are not, getting, you are not paid. getting paid. You are not getting paid. There's no money that is coming your way, and <laughs> and that should be said. So you need to understand what you are fighting for and why. If it makes sense and it's ethically right to do, then do it. Mm -hmm. But if mm -hmm. if you feel that I'm actually taking a position of uh, something that I do not understand and I feel this person did it or didn't do it, then don't. Yeah. Rather not contribute. Don't yeah. add to fuel to that moving car that is moving in a wrong direction and we've been saying these things even with the celebs when we're reviewing things we always hint to say hey this sounds like there are bots and, yes, and all those things yeah. because yeah i did find out about it and i was very disturbed that there are people who actually do this they, 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 they do that just to have people fight for them or make them trend. I don't have a problem with you wanting to be made to trend, but when you start coming for someone mm. uh, in a legal manner mm. and now you want people to hop onto that and support you and give you uh, support so that you can get what you want yeah. from the person, perhaps, mm. Mm. now that is a problem for me. Uh, I believe it. Uh that I believe eh? be careful we must believe people when they are saying things more so if they are vulnerable but hey man have that spirit of knowing what is wrong and right you know mighty get me those twitter bullies <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you know, and she says that to me, it it was like already she's ahead. She's trying to spin a narrative mm. quickly before mm. it gets mm. out of hand. Mm. You know, and, and there are people even now who are defending her. Yes, they are there. Mm. They are there. They still believe that you know what she was forced. She's a victim to do all of those things. Oh, they are making you believe that. Maybe oh, they yeah. don't believe it, but they're just making you believe that. And in Betati, I see God in you. It, it's the whole money. <laughs> <laughs> the manipulation that Busha experienced there, but hopefully he learns this time around nah. to never believe what people tell you. <laughs> Do not believe it. In fact, he was fighting, uh, uh, believing that he's fighting for his friend. But even with your friends, you should you should tell them the truth. You should question. Mm. You know, don't just go with the wind where they are, because now they are making a fool out of you. You know, but he took it like a champ. He apologized to his followers and did the right thing. And he said, you know what? I've learned my lesson, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, Ground Up was already on her tracks. So, guys, I have a question for you. Would a victim, a true victim, behave this way? No, obviously, a victim would not behave this way. You would pop, right? Yeah. When your friend is asking you if you're okay, you'll be like, Cho mom, yes, sis. Mm. I am in trouble. Mm. And you start crying and mm. you start telling your story. Does, isn't that what true victims would have most likely done in this situation where someone is reaching out, they're looking for verification from your side? Wouldn't you have acted The truth of the matter is that the man in which she's acting, it's not exonerating her. It's, let's put it like that. That's how it is. Okay. So yeah, guys, that was it with the Mushin Digi mess, which currently for me, I was trying to get to the bottom of 
what was happening regarding that whole situation so yeah yeah moving forward um what's next on another scandal that she did is actually the pairing of the milli mill and the force mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah it's the bearing of the millimil and the force. A lot is happening with regards to that. Um, there was a lot. Uh, I want to go through the story with you guys and cover it for you. Oh, hey. We are at that stage uh, where I really do not know what uh to to uh to 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 s- yeah so times live also released an exclusive saying that dr nandi pamakutumana is believed to have fake buried two of the three corpses that she allegedly stole and is said to have arranged for bags of millimil and packs of buddha force to be placed in the coffins to replace the bodies they resemble the structure of human bodies the plot included a burial for these two bodies as well as monas who attended the funeral the funeral occurred in two separate days after the bodies were prepared by the mortuary and they were taken to the family home in mangaung for traditional and cultural ceremonies and prayers so a family home where there were people crying outside and others visiting and paying their respect. It's here that it is believed that the bodies were switched. So it is unknown where one of these initial bodies that were taken is, but it also believed that it was an initial escape attempt that failed. Mm-hmm. So detectives are investigating the bodies Dr. Makudumana claimed from the Mangaung State Mortuary and what happened to them after bags of millimil and rotting vores were found in the coffins in place of the bodies. So sources in the police and Free State Health Department as well as members of the provinci- provincial funeral community have provided Times Live with details of the rules that apparently even included a fake burial ceremony attended by Monas. Now this was a lot of effort that went into this fake burials. It was too much effort, Mr. Anonymous. Mm-hmm. Did you hear no, what no, happened? No, no, I, I, you know, I have one question for people who say it was forced. She was forced. Then who forced her there? This was too much effort to get so people to cry. Who forced her there? To get people, to organize people to attend a funeral. Who to forced her to actually from? go to the prison and visit? It's a lot. It's a lot. I mean, and come one on. of the bodies, I don't think they have found it yet. The other one, they found it at the river mm. with, with a, a tag still on its toe. Mm. And then one is still missing, and the other one is the one that bent in the cell. Yeah. So she was claiming all of these bodies, organizing these funerals, the, the whole organizing of it all, mm-hmm. getting people to cry and stuff. Mm. And then changing the bodies and then putting milli mills and buravors. It's a lot. No, who's the master? It's a lot. Who's the master now? Because those are things that are done by someone who's got confidence. And you can't do those things when you're scared. You mustn't be scared. Well, when it's bindi, mm. must have the heart of a gene mm-hmm. to do such things. You can't just be that as a link and being shivering and having anxiety. It's not going to work out. So for her to have that strength to organize all of this with her accomplices at the time, including Tabo Beste. Mm. I, I don't know. Hey, Being a victim, I, I'm not sure. The truth of the matter is that uh, there is no victim here. And also Parliament reported that uh, they revealed in that hearing that Dr. Nandipa made a uh, visit at Mangaung Correctional Services Centre and her last visit was on the 
17th of December in 2021. Mm -hmm. That is the last visit she made to the correctional facility that was recorded on the G4S system. Mm -hmm. Then from there, there, from were, there, there were allegedly no visits. April, May, June, April, not April, up until April, January, February, March, April. So maybe the plan was being cooked there. Then, maybe there was a plan that was being cooked. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, <laughs> come on, people. We, I, I mean, I know we want to believe call victims him. and what and whatnot. We uh, want to believe, but, him, but I mean, does. <laughs> Do we, there's no victim in here. And uh, right now, we're just going to play a recording of one of the people that were very close to her. As they allege, time, yes. As they allege. Um, this recording says a lot. Uh, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I would like for you guys to listen to this recording. I've been sitting on it for a couple of weeks now, not wanting to, because it sounds like the person is too personal in this situation, you know? Um, this person has been too personal and uh, some people are even accusing them that you know what they sound like they are jealous or whatever of what of being arrested L let's just listen to the recording let's hear what she has to say because they would know it's me i've got a son to protect mm -hmm. i've got a okay. child to protect mm -hmm. uh, no, and, and i've been waiting for this moment i knew it would come uh mm -hmm. This story, guys, they've been working on this story since 2021. It was supposed to be released back in 2021. But they were still trying to come up with um, more tangible like, in evidence. So, it's been in the works. Everything that you have seen and heard about Lomfazilona's involvement, it is true. Because as a person, Okay. Followers, uh, sorry, viewers are growing. I'll have to drop soon. Um, I'll tell you this. Uh, she is smart. She is uh, a go-getter in life. What did 50 Cent say? Get rich or die trying. Awesome. Uh, and again, I repeat, if somebody from her camp comes for me and wants to bring their legal team, I will expose everything. Try Luanze, me. Run, run, Luanze. Okay, thank you. Uh, what I was saying is, guys, wait, never... wait, 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 Luanze. <laughs> I'm in charge here. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, my... sorry, sorry, this Mr. Danny. Sorry, excuse this is, me. This my is manners. my platform. This is my platform, so uh, be free. I know uh you 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 have to carefully watch uh what you say because it can come back to you but let's agree uh mm. after this life either today or tomorrow i'll i'll have a chat with you is that fine with you? <laughs> now they know who's your source <laughs> no we're not talk we're not going to talk about this case i'm just going mm. to have a chat with you we can have i think i think i know where we are going with this chat not a problem dm me i will respond back to you sir um in yeah. the is that she she tags her kids along in all these yeah. rendezvous those poor kids have seen every man she split her legs for yeah. those as <laughs> when we talk about vile women um oh yeah. mama <laughs> okay based on looks there's the other daughter. She's chubby. She is not what you would call cute or a beautiful baby, according to beauty standards, as nonsense beauty standards. Aksu, your post are yoga cool. Aksu, your yenza lizin toga cool. Lomane, oh cute. Uye, oh yenza lizin toga cool. Nyangbon wutin tingalo mutilo. She's vile. She's vile. And uya zazi wutsi, her key is what? Her punani. 
So she uses her punani ure. And Minang Basabi Bonke Bangas Bangas, and Basabi Bonke, and Yang, you're all saying Lanjer and Basabi Bonke, Nafriz South Africa. Minamanga Kuluma, Nafriz South Africa, Mabang Zan, Baba in guys. Thank you, thank you, Lanjer. Good night. Good night. Uh, good All night. Right. Okay. My, my uh, two cents are still complete. Yes, I, I, I just wanted to say yes, we are going through all of these issues. Yes, we are observing what's happening. And yes, unfortunately, what's, hap- what's making the world go round right now is money. Money in, in, into people's pockets. People are hungry. People are greedy. People are selfish. And, and I think what we can learn from this is what we are going to do in the next election. Thank you. Thank you, Tepi. And for those who couldn't catch uh, part of what Luanja was saying, uh, she, she, the summary of what she was saying was that she knows Nandipa very well. Uh, we shouldn't say she's a victim. Uh, this is the kind of life that she lives. She's accused men of raping her before. When that did not happen, she, she's been a high flyer. She's been to Dubai. Uh, so she knows so much. She knows uh, Nandipa personally. And she says she knows a lot. Even if they can try to come after her, uh, she can release some damning information about uh, Nandipa and her lifestyle. So, yeah, that, that's basically what Lange was saying. Uh, for those who couldn't catch some of the parts. Uh, so let's leave it there for now. Ed. Brother. Yes. Ah, that's one. Quite a long one. Well, you heard it all. And uh, not much comment. If the person knows her, well and good. Giving an, uh, giving us another perspective of wh- what we are dealing with here. Mm. And I'm hoping that it was in English, most of it, so you kind of understood. What was being said. Yes. So literally what I could remember from it is that um, she's saying Dr. Nandipa is not who she portrayed herself as in the public, allegedly, and that uh, she would be the type of person to tell you right in your face that they're bewitching you or something. <laughs> I She's saying that, yeah, and even the treatment of the children that she would have, one was treated better than the other one, and the younger one was treated better than the older one. Um, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. That's all I could remember from that recording because, A, eh, I don't want to comment much on it. I don't want to give my personal opinions too much. I just want to hear what you guys uh, think about it right cool thank you guys uh thank you for tuning in uh, it's a bye from us bye